on before I get started. I want to give our praise and honor and glory to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah Bashem, Rakakadash, double honors to the apostles and elders that learn this truth from the men of GMS and the brethren with the like minded doctrine. This the brother, this the brother Bakalai here with another hopeful edifying lesson to the elect body of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah. Um, the lesson title, I don't have one in mind, right? Maybe one that come to me while the lesson, but it's going into um, basically how these Edomites, these how these Edomites Esau pass pass bills due to their own actions, and then and then um, ultimately um, use it on. Jake, you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, when they are the um, reason of passing these bills, just um, which is going to be um, uh, described in this video, and then, and to look at the length of the um, video, it says one forty-four, right? Right. I played this lesson on um, this video during my own. Um, um, my um street ministry that we've done earlier today, right? Which which reads FBI director Chris Christopher Ray on Capitol Hill discussing F I S A protection. So I'm gonna just see what this F I S A means, right? The definition. It says F I F I S A means Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act, right? It says the government uses the information collected on the Section 702 to protect the United States and its allies from hostile foreign adversaries, including terrorists, proliferators, and spies and to inform security efforts, right? So it's in F F I S A is Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act, right? So this video is gonna show you who is this bill, who or why they have this discussion. Who is this person or, you know, but why did this come about, you know? So I'm gonna go ahead and play this video. Over on Capitol Hill, Congress is set to take up a bill related to our national security today. Republican lawmakers argue it gives the government too much power over Americans. ABC's Christine Cordero has the latest from Washington. Today, a bill that helps the government fight against terrorism is set to make its way through Congress. Without it, FBI Director Christopher Wray warns American lives will be at risk. If we're blinded from seeing what our adversaries are doing, who they're working with, I can tell you that's going to most definitely have consequences for our ability to protect the American people. The Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act, or FISA, allows our intelligence agencies to collect data on foreign nationals without a warrant. It sometimes collects data on Americans who interact with persons of interest. Fueled by sharp criticism from former President Donald Trump, who urged Congress kill FISA, Hardline House Republicans opposed its reauthorization. Now, after late night negotiations, they agreed to move forward with a shorter reauthorization. The two year instead of five length of time, you know, sunset. So keep that in mind. They said late night negotiations, right? And basically, what this is, or uh, this is crafty counsel, you know? This is crafty counsel of Esau Edom. And he said they were late night negotiation, right? This is all scriptural. Ray particularly vouched for the part of FISA that can collect data on Americans. This week, an 18-year-old Idaho man was arrested and charged after allegedly planning an ISIS-K-inspired attack here in the U.S. It is crucial. Did you see that? Who, who was it? They said this guy right here. All right? Edomite. Say he was um, an Idaho man. Um planning an ISIS-K attack, right? So they created, 
they had this discussion because of this guy here, right? So I'm going to just play this part again. Collect data on Americans. This week, an 18... Salaki. Two years instead of five length of time. You know, sunset is the, uh, the major change. Ray particularly vouched for the part of FISA that can collect data on Americans. This week, an 18-year-old Idaho man was arrested and charged after allegedly planning his K-inspired attack here in the U.S. It is crucial to identifying terrorists in the homeland, working with or inspired by a rogues gallery of foreign terrorist organizations who have publicly called for attacks against our country. Christiane Cordero, ABC News, Washington. So who did they show there? They showed the Edomite and what they said, late night negotiation, right? Late night negotiation. And they said they can collect data on Americans, right? So that's their plan. To, to collect data on Americans, right? That's what they're planning on doing. They're going to single people out. This is basically the persecution which is going to come. They're going to um, uh, persecute, bring persecution down, and they're going to try to link, you know, the men of the Lord involved with this these acts right this is that um crafty council right to eat them and who's the reason behind it right like we showed earlier it was the edomite right and he's supposed to be some isis k islamic supporter right so now they bring in this law in the fact in effect that can um uh, spy on americans Right, that's what they said. They can spy on Americans. Let me see this right here. Christiane Cordero, ABC News, Washington. A possible reform to the bill would require a warrant against our country. Christiane Cordero, ABC News, Washington. Like, yeah. Where is it at? Somewhere around you. He is right here. I said that can collect data on Americans this week and length of time. You know, sunset is the, uh, the major change. Ray particularly vouched for the part of FISA that can collect data on Americans this week. An 18 year old. So he vouched for this, this part, this, this, this bill that can collect data on particular information on Americans. You know, so this is, like I said, this is a crafty council, a crafty move from the devil, right? You saw Edom. And who is the reason? Esau, another Edomite, right? So that's how they make these laws, right? Which this is the less, this is what's surrounding this lesson. That Esau, Edom, uh, conduct these crimes, and then Esau, makes the laws in support for these crimes and then he targets Jake. So that's basically what this is. So like before I get on, before I get um, too deep in it, I'm gonna go to the scriptures because this is what it says on, um, this is in Psalms. Psalms. 80. Psalms 83, right? What's the point in verse 3, right? Um, we'll start at 1 Psalms 83, and 1 is Keep not thou silent, O Most High, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. Behold, I mean, so like you read that over. Keep not thou silent, O Most High Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. Hold not thy peace, and be not still, O Power Yahweh. For lo, thy enemy make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lift up the head. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people, and consulted against thy hidden ones. So this is a crafty move from Esau, and who was the culprit? Or the reasoning behind it, another Edomite was supposed to be 
supporting the quote unquote terrorist Islamic a, a, a Islamic or Arab terrorist group and was an Edomite. So they trying to pass this F I S A F I S A um act, right? To um spy on Americans, right? Particular Americans, right? And this is and they said they spent all night uh no, I'm talking about this is this is Malachi I mean Makai two and one, right? It says, um, woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. When the morning is light, they practice it. And see, he said they spent all night trying to come up with these, with this bill, right? So that's Esau Edom's uh, being crafty. You know, he's, 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 He's um spinning up. He's spinning all night coming up with these bills, and also the scripture says uh Proverbs four. Proverbs chapter four and sixteen. It says, for they sleep not, for they sleep not, except they have done mischief, and their sleep is taken away unless they cause some to fall. So that's why they, they that's why I said they spend, they was up all night coming up with this bill, right? Let me see this is K inspired attack. Right here. The two year instead of five length of time. Post its reauthorization. Now, after late night negotiations, they agreed to move forward with a shorter reauthorization. The two year late night, late night off, uh, negotiation. It was up late night. Trying to negotiate this bill, right? Scripture said, Proverbs 4, 4 and 16, they sleep not except they have done mischief and their sleep is taken away unless they cause some to fall, right? So they got this crafty caps going on, namely because a, a so called Edomite, no man, Salakia, so called white man, uh, a Edomite, right? Salakia, a Edomite was supposedly trying to put a terrorist attack together in support of a of a um Islamic or a or, uh, Arab or Islamic terrorist quote unquote terrorist group ISIS K right so now they passed this bill now they can watch particular uh, particular United States citizens, when Biden, and mind you, Biden's open door policy granted access to these potential terrorists, right? So this is also Esau Edom's motto, or the elite motto, is order out of chaos, right? So they create the, they create the chaos and trying to bring the order. So now they got potential terrorists, you got potential, you got potential acts of, uh, crisis acts, um, uh, Double F's, you know what I mean with flags, double F's, put the two F's with, with the word flags, right? Uh, false false flags, I'm just saying it, you know, false flags, crisis acts, you know, these things can, can hurt, can, can, um, can occur due to Esau Edom's. Um, actions, you know, and, and this is nothing known. I mean, this is nothing new, and it's known. So, like, yeah, these things is, is um, 
these things of uh, crisis acts and false flags, you saw Edom does these things, you know. So, like I said, they put this bill together because uh, they sleep not unless they cause something to fall, man. Sleep is taken away unless, unless they have done mischief, right? And their sleep is taken away unless they have, unless they cause something to fall, right? So, um, he saw Eden was planning these. Esau Edom is making plans to basically accuse the men that represents Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. So this is just an effort. You know, like I said, you see who was the culprit there, right? It was the Edomite. And they made this law, this um, Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act to basically monitor uh, American citizens, right? So this is showing you Edomites are the cause or the reason why these bills are being passed. And I got another example. Um, uh, right here. This Hollywood, I mean, North Hollywood shootout, which, um, which, um, uh, caused the militarization of the police, right? The, the the police, the local police, was militarized due due to this um this um situation called North Hollywood shootout, or it was a bank robbery, a bank heist by two Edomites, right? So I'm just read this title here, right? So if you don't know about this, um. Just, just search for it, right? The North Hollywood bank heist or shootout, right? It says how a 1980 bank robbery sparked the militarization of America's police. And these bank robbers, see right there, these cops, right? They dressed in military gear, bulletproof vests, helmet, assault rifles, and other gear, right? They even got on drones. They got drones. They got uh, armored vehicles. All this tactical gear, you know, due to what a bank robbery by two Edomites. So that's Esau Edom's doing, right? So, cause that's uh. That's the reason why they made this law to uh, to arm the local police like the military, right? It says how the North Hollywood shootout changed policing. It says more than three hundred outgunned law enforcement law enforcement officers from five agencies fighting for their lives fired more than 550 rounds, right? So I'm gonna just play this video here. It's just a couple, you know, not too long, not too much of it, but it's gonna give you just the, uh, behind the whole story here, right? Hollywood becomes a war zone. Our officers stay down. Shots are being fired from AK-47. All oh, hell no, broke out right here. It's February 28, 1997. <laughs> 
two bank robbers enter a Bank of America in North Hollywood. They're heavily armed, wearing ski masks and custom fitted body armor. <laughs> The robbers fire multiple shots inside, demanding access to thousands of dollars stored in the bank vault. Customers are ordered to the ground. There was people crying. There was people who thought they were going to die. Then what happened next became known as the North Hollywood shootout. A gun battle broadcast for the world to see live on television. They are opening fire right now. Because the world sees it. The world is impacted by that. The gunman now coming back out from under that tree continues to fire with this AK-47 assault rifle. You see it live. I've never seen anything like it in a movie or in life until I saw what, what those guys did. 44 minutes of terror, thousands of rounds of ammunition, cars destroyed, homes and businesses riddled with bullets. It's almost as if time stopped. The LAPD officers from one of the largest police forces in the country were unprepared to fight back. AK-47s, 223s, other weapons they had out there. It was something that we had not confronted before. Innocent people caught in the crossfire, looking for cover as the shooters unloaded. It seemed like he was just emptying the gun on that car. For 44 minutes, the shooters went to war in the streets of North Hollywood. 25. So, I, you know, I just want to give you an outline. So, these two men, two Edomites, they had a shootout with, it says, five police agencies, and they couldn't do anything with them, right? Five agencies. More than 300 law enforcement officers, cops, was outgunned by two guys, two Edomites, and they was on uh, AK-47s, and they was on uh, had bullet, uh, bulletproof uh, armor, um, um bulletproof um um armored um vest right you know they can't they couldn't pierce their their vest too too well right but eventually they they killed them but these are the edomites you know these are edomites here man right esau right now they they are the reason why the military are now are militarized? The, the police, like you, the police is militarized now due to these two guys, right? These two Edomites, you know, they had AK forty sevens, and like I said, um, they had armor. A bulletproof vest that was hard that couldn't that was hard to hard for the bullets to pierce. Right? He saw Edom. Just like you see in the last video. Just like you seen in the last video. It was an Edomite and they passed this bill. Now they can spy on um uh, US citizens, right? So like this is basically the point of the video. Um, Esau is the reason for these crimes, but more, but eventually or ultimately he's going to, um, target Jake, you know, you so-called blacks, Latinos and Native Americans, right? That's why they got, um, drones, you know, they got all the military, they got all military style weapons, right? What's the here? And here's another one. Hate crimes, right? These hate bill, hate crime bills due to Esau Edom, right? It says preventing racial hate crimes means tackling white supremacy, white supremacist ideology, right? So in order to tackle hate crimes, I mean, in order to prevent racial hate crimes, let me just read the title again. It says, Preventing Racial Hate Crimes Means Tackling White Supremacist Ideology. Right? And you see this in Buffalo, New York, where this Edomite shot up or shot multiple so-called black people um, in this grocery store, Tops, right? 
and it was an Edomite. Now they, they passing these hate crime laws, right? Due to Esau Edom, right? It is one of the, the laws here. House Joint Resolution or HR 61 leading against White Supremacy Act 2023. HR 61, it says, to prevent and prosecute white supremacy inspired hate crime and, and conspiracy to commit white supremacy inspired hate crime and to admin Title 18 United States Code to expand the scope of hate crimes. So these Edomites are the reason why these things are happening, right? That's that's the whole point, right? He's got crafty counsel going on, you know. You saw got this crafty counsel going on, and he's making these bills due to his own people, and he's gonna target Jake for this. He's gonna target us for hate crimes, hate speech, um, uh, Domestic terrorists, you know, trying to overthrow the government, um, inciting riots, you know, they're going to blame, they're going to blame us for this. And they're going to put us in the mix of this and put us, you know, as, as, uh, enemies of the state due to his own people. You know, he's making these bills basically to persecute the men of the Lord, um, uh, ultimately, you know, and that's just, um, uh, I'm showing, you know, the proof. This is this is how we do things. Like I said, the militarizing the police, you know, they basically go against Jake with this with this um uh, with this military style tactics. You know, they use this military mil the dogs, robo dogs. You know, uh, armor put um, armor proof vet. I mean, um, bulletproof I mean, armored vehicles. All this tactical gear, drones, most primarily they target Jake with these things, you know. So, like I said, all these things are in the are, are past or going into effect to uh, um, oppress the, the people, the men, the people, um, the people, um. The people of the Lord mean meaning you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, right? So that's why um, he's making these bills and passing these laws, though it's his people committing, uh, or his people is the reason be behind these things, right? So that's what he's doing now um, I'm gonna get to the scripture uh, that we brought out on uh, crafty counsel Psalms 83 right 83 and 2 Psalms 83 and 2 it says for lo thy enemies make a tumult and they that hate thee have lift up the head they have taken crafty counsel against thy people right these secret meetings, they was uh, late night up, late night with these meetings, these crafty, uh, you know, crafty council, right? They was up late night, they uh, sleep was taken away unless they caused something to fall, right? They have taken crafty counsel against our people and consulted against our hidden ones, right? You, you ch the children of Israel, you know, you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, right? And, uh, and that's how he caused his wickedness or treachery to to um, to, um, to prosper is through his legislation. Daniel's eight twenty five, right? It says, and through his policy, also he shall cause craft to prosper in his hand, right? So these legislations, these laws, you just seen it. Uh, this uh, uh, let me see. Uh, let 
this uh Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act, right? Which now they can use it to spy on American citizens they deem a threat. You know, they if they consider you some type of threat, you know, just like they you but they but the cause was it was what? A Edomite. Right? He's probably gonna blank out. I knew it. But the cause of it was an Edomite, right? Go back to this video. It's no longer probably a commercial going to pop up. Watch. Men who dye their grays shamelessly. Weston Boucher. He's a model who shamelessly dyes his grays, and we love it. Before he started dying... Over on Capitol Hill, Congress is set to take up a bill related to our national security today. Republican lawmakers argue it gives the government too much power over Americans. ABC's Christine Cordero has the latest from Washington. Today, a bill that helps the government fight against... This, this law, they was fear, they fear that they give, 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 give the government too much power over American citizens, right? I'm going to just play that again, you know? Over on Capitol Hill, Congress is set to take up a bill related to our national security today. Republican lawmakers argue it gives the government too much power over Americans. ABC's Christine Cordero has the latest from Washington. Today, a bill that helps the government fight against terrorism is set to make its way through Congress without... So, like I said, this, this bill was to fight against terrorism, and they, they, afraid, they, are, they are saying that this bill... Is giving too much the government too much power over American citizens. Now they can spy on American citizens if they deem it necessary for acts of potential terrorism, spying, or whatever, man, whatever they deem necessary or whatever the cause may be. And who is to blame for, like I said, Esau, you know? He's supposed to be uh, Islamic te uh, he's supporting ISIS-K uh, Islamic so-called Islamic terrorist group charged after allegedly planning late night negotiations they agreed to move forward with a shorter reauthorization the two year instead of five length of time you know so it's a, it's the, uh, the major change Ray particularly vouched for the part of FISA that can collect data on Americans. This week, an 18-year-old Idaho man was arrested and charged after allegedly planning an ISIS-K-inspired attack. So, like I said, this is, this is, this is I'm going to show you, that's Esau, you know. He's the reason why they're passing this bill. Now they can uh, spy on Americans, you know, and they said this is giving, uh, giving uh, the government too much power. He's the reason behind this. Like I said, all this bill, the hate crime, the militarizing the police, you know, these bills, which is major, is, uh, major, is it affected uh, the majority of America, you know, like the hate crime, that's all over America. These laws are nationwide, right? Militarizing police, that's nationwide. This, um, this, um, Foreign aid, I mean, Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act. This is a nationwide uh, act there. So it's affecting all countries, I mean, all states. And it's, a, it's a severe thing, right? So, and like I said, I showed you, it, these Edomites are behind it, right? But they're going to come down on you, Jake, right? Oh, I'm going to get out the blue letter, right? Um, Jake, uh, Daniel's the Daniel's the eighth chapter, right? Daniel's chapter eight and twenty and twenty five, right? It says and and through his policy also he shall cause craft to prosper in his hand, right? So you don't get this word. Uh, craft what it means right craft the word craft is uh 
Strong's H4820. Mirma. Mirma. It says, in the sense of deceiving, right? Out, outline of biblical usage. It says, deceit, treachery, right? So that's how he's going to cause deceit to prosper through his policies. These policies that he's, he's putting into effect to blame or come at the children of Israel. You know, the men of the Lord, most definitely, you know, uh, the the season of persecution is, is also right around the corner, too. You know, they're going to try to persecute um, men out there that's um, standing stiff, standing standing on their, their feet for Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, preaching the Holy Bible and his truth. You know, they're going to try to target us. Uh, and make it seem like we're we're some type of terrorist or or, or anti-government um, group or something, you know. That's why that um I forgot what that what that the agency is, some type of league, the defam the yeah the defamation something league or something like that. Not I mean you know I would I'm not too big on it. But that's what that's all about, you know, with this black um, Hebrew Israelite, you know, which we are not black, right? Israel, the nation of Israel is, is a nationality. The people of Israel is a nationality. It's not a religion. It's not a color, you know. It's about a nation of people, which the Lord has only chosen one nation, and that is the nation of Israel. And that nation of Israel may represent, uh, make up you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. And also that's those that's scattered among these other heathens. And they look like them, right? I forgot defamation. Defamation League or something like that. Yeah, Anti-Defamation League, I think. I think this is it. Yeah, anti defamation. I think this is it. Yeah. Which, which you would think this this agency would support so-called black people, but they they uh you know cause you see that right there the anti-sim tracker right so that's the first that uh and what what it says that uh, anti-defamation league stands with Israel you know so you know what that's about you know. So you would think they would support so-called black people, you know, they would be their first priority, anti-defamation league, you know. But, you know, they in support of the small hats, right? So they got us labeled as a hate, a hate group under this anti-defamation league. You know, and they're going to, you know, all work together to try to blame, or, you know, just like the scripture said, the accuser of our brethren is cast down, the devil, which devil means false accuser, right? So that's what they're going to try to do. And just like I showed you that Esau is the face of all of this. He's the reason why they passed these laws, but, um, prime, but um, ultimately, he's, they want to... Um, Come at you, so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, with these bills, right? So treachery, he shall cause, uh, and through his policy, he shall cause and through his policy also he shall cause craft or treachery or deceit to prosper in his hand. His policies, his laws that he's gonna pass, right? Right, so that's how it's gonna cause uh, 
to see, to prosper, because he's going to pass laws to target certain people. And he or uh, he is the reason why these laws are are um, created from the first. I mean, created anyway for the for for the. Um, he's the reason why these laws is um created anyway. You know, for the first shit, my, my uh, so like yeah, to bear with me. It's like my mind is not working together with my tongue or something like that. You know. But um, you see there that Esau is the, the reason for these laws, right? So, you know, we just try to try to be in the spirit as much as we can. Pray to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah that he cover us and have mercy upon us, you know. Ka'asayim, you know, it's mercies, Ka'asayim, right? Pray y'all about you know, shop have mercy upon us and you know, because the devil, you know, like the scripture said, hide me from the secret counsel, hide me from the workers of iniquity, right? That's in Psalms. Hide me from the workers of iniquity. Because this devil Yeah, that's Psalm, uh, Psalm 64 and 2. It says, hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked, from the insurrection of the workers of iniquity. Right? So that's what they're going to do. You know, this is what this is all about. Um, Psalm 64 uh, and 2. It says, hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked. From the insurrection of the workers of iniquity, who whip their tongue like a sword, and bend their bow to shoot their arrows, even bitter words, right? So these these legislation is those bitter words, right? They're gonna target men, you know. Like I said, this like they said this 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 act, uh, they think is uh, overstepping the boundaries and watching American citizens do the actions of an Edomite, you know, which he's supposed to be in support of his Islamic terrorist group, quote unquote, Islamic terrorist group, ISIS K, right? So now they're making these bills and they, they saying this this bill, this act is overstepping the back government boundaries and you know, watching and surveilling surveying American citizens. Verse three again says who wet their tongue like a sword and bend their bow to shoot at to shoot their arrows even better words. They I mean that they may shoot in secret at the perfect, suddenly do they shoot at him and fear not. Right? So that's what they do. They encourage themselves in the evil matter. They commune and lay in snails privily. They who shall see them, right? And also say also the scripture says um I think it's in Psalms that they uh who is Lord over us, right? So that's what they think. Like who who our tongue our tongue is our own. Let me see. Put keywords in. It might be in songs. Yeah. Psalms 12. Psalms 12. And I'm going to start at 1. It says, Help Yahweh for the godly man, for the godly man ceaseth. For the faithful fit fell from among the children of men. They speak vanity every one with his neighbor. With flattering lips and with a double heart do they speak, right? The Lord, Yahweh, shall cut off all flattering lips and the tongue that speaketh proud things who have said 
which is the point who have said with our tongue, we will prevail. Our lips are our own, who is Lord over us. Right? So that's why that's how they think, you know. They our lips are our own, who 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 is ruling over us. We run the world. The earth was given into the wicked's hands, the Edomites. For for the oppression of the poor, for the sighing of the needy, now will I arise, save the Yahweh. And I will set him in safety from him that puffeth at him, right? Call like my Yahweh you know. So that's why we, you know, we keep and trust in the Lord, you know, keep his word and trust in Yahweh Shah because the wicked is gonna come down, man. You know, he's gonna he's gonna do all he can to accomplish this um enterprise which is the new world order, you know, agenda twenty one or two, agenda twenty uh, agenda twenty thirty is full, is in full effect, and that's a part of uh, the new world order, right? And uh, anyone that's speaking in there, anyone that's speaking against it, and know the true plans of it is in the way. So he's gonna try to demonize, you know. Whoever um, is, is exposing his uh, his true intentions, his true plans, is the men of the Lord's on top of that, you know, and all these truthers and more people that expose them and, and and things like that, you know, we are going to be deemed as uh, terrorists, uh, insurrectionists, you know, uh, causing sedition. You know, that's what they're going to label us, you know, criminals. You know, he's going to do that. That's that craft prosper. He, uh, that's through his policy, craft shall prosper or treasury. The seat shall uh, prosper in his hand through his laws. So I'm going to go in and off that. And I hope it was edifying to the elect. And I want to say, call her like my Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah by Hashem. Rekakadash, Shalom, to the next time, Yahweh. Rathazah, which means Lord willing. The Ba, the Ba, the Ba.